a Canadian Radio Sanctuary podcast. The last time I talked to you, I think it was around 87, and you were still doing Wise Guy. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, yeah, 87 was that first year of Wise Guy. Yeah. First of all, uh, congratulations on the Juno Award. Thanks very much. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a surprise to me, too. Actually, I was in, uh, I was unable to attend because I was in France. I was working in Paris, and, uh, but it was a nice to get the little fax the next morning. Congratulations. And, uh, so it was real neat. It was kind of a surprise to me, actually. You know, uh, not to bring up some bad memories, but I can recall back in the days when I think you were with, it was the old Polydor label and uh, the, Bar- yeah. the Burnin album, uh-huh. and uh, you didn't stay with the label as long as I thought you deserved to. And, uh, anyway. No, it was just one of those, you know, decisions on their part. They didn't, you know, they, they sort of, uh, I'm not going to get into the politics of yeah. the record business right here and right now, but right. Uh, yeah, I wish I would have had another shot at it with them, uh, but uh, they made their decision to uh, go their way, so mm-hmm. I had to go mine, and... Uh, Life goes on. Now, are you still busy doing Highlander? Yeah, we are, actually. We're in the midst of, uh, we started uh, shooting uh, our fifth season. Uh, we started shooting on the 25th of June. And we'll be going here in town until uh, mid-October, and then uh, at the end of October, we go, we do every year we do, uh, we shoot, uh, well, this year we're shooting 11 episodes in Vancouver and, and seven episodes in Paris. Mm-hmm. So we go to Paris every year. It's tough, you know, but somebody's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a great character, that uh, Dawson, right? Yeah, Joe Dawson, right? Yeah, uh, he's uh, the uh, one of the uh, the Watchers, the uh, the group that uh, the secret society that knows and has all the goods on the immortals. But uh, I don't know if the people have been watching the show. I've kind of broken all the Watchers rules <laughs> and have completely just sort of made myself persona non grata around there. But uh, we've got some ch- we got some good episodes coming up this season, and um, you know we. we you know, we were, the character's growing, and it's been fun because uh, when I first joined on the show, it was uh, I was sort of just in and out and dealing in books and was pretty mysterious, and all of a sudden I said, well, I'm tired of museums, etc., and I opened up a blues bar, so it's fun. I got a blues bar on the show, and we get to... I've written some music for the uh, for the soundtrack, and they've used a couple things off my new CD as, as source music, so it's, it's been real good for me. They, they've been a very good group to work with, and it's a lot of fun doing the show. Now, th- a lot of similarities in the character of lifeguard from Wise Guy with the uh, Dawson character. I suppose so. Yeah, there are there are some. Uh, they're both uh, sort of uh, sympathetic and uh, a guy that you can uh, count on and a guy that you can go to with your troubles. They they have their differences as well. I, I you know, but but they do uh, definitely have a sort of similarity. Actually, I've been thinking, you know, like it's sort of I kind of think of myself as Gabby Hayes, you know, kind mm-hmm. of the old uh, the old sidekick, you know. <laughs> Yeah. I can recall when I spoke with you years ago during the wise guy period that uh, you were saying you went back to St. Louis, I think it was, and your old drama teacher uh, said he was quite proud of you. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, it's, uh, the, the, uh, I, I still keep in touch with, uh, with, with Joe. Uh, he's the guy that really got me involved in drama when I was in high school, et cetera. And in fact, they are opening at, at my old high school, St. Louis University High, there. Uh, this September, they're opening. Uh, they, they've uh, spent a whole bunch of money and built a, a big theater. They built, a, you know, an add-on to the school, and you know, they raised a lot of dough and got this thing going. And it's uh, it's it's a, the Joe Schulte uh, Theater. That was my teacher's name. And in fact, I'm going to be going back to uh, to St. Louis in September for the uh, inaugural performance at the theater. So that'll be really exciting. I think. All right, that sounds uh, good. Okay, that's that's acting. Now uh, let's get into the uh, music side of things. Uh, what are you up to at this point? Are you recording again? Well, we're going to be recording real soon. I just, uh, I think I've just completed a deal to get, we've got the, you know, the, we won the Juno here. But now I finally made a deal to uh, release release the album in the States. So we're going to be get that, uh, we're going to get that out uh, and released in the States. And it's already released in, in Europe uh, as well. But so we'll be, we'll be doing well. Become, we're coming out to uh, Chilliwack this afternoon to play out at the fair. At That's five. right. Fairgrounds, uh, and then we've got a couple. I'm going to be down in Seattle tomorrow, and then we've got some some dates coming up around town. But but really, yeah, we're just finalizing up some. I've been doing some writing, and we'll probably be going back into the studio. I'm hoping uh, sometime in my little interim between the time we finish uh, Highlander and the time I go to France, I'm hoping at the end of October, beginning of November, to be back in the studio. Maybe uh, something new in the in the springtime. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're looking forward to your show this afternoon at uh, 5.30 Chilliwack Exhibition. It's going to be a good time. I'll be there, be there, be square. All right. Thank you, Jim.